Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote. Today we're going to learn how to graph an equation in a Casio graphing calculator and also how to change the viewing window in case you're not seeing what you want to see. First thing you're going to do is turn your calculator on. If you don't see this screen, go ahead and hit your menu button right here. That'll get you to this screen. Your calculator may look slightly different from mine. That's okay. Once you know how to work one Casio graphing calculator, you'll know how to work all of them. Since we want a graph, we're going to look for the graph icon. For mine, it's number 5. Yours may be a different number. Highlight that icon and hit Execute, and you're in the graphing function. So here's where you put in your function. I'm going to put in the function 2x plus 4. 2x plus 4. Now I need to tell the calculator that I'm done with that function, so I hit Execute. And you'll notice the equal sign is highlighted. That means it's an active function, and that's what we want. To display the graph, all you do is press F6 because that's the soft key under the word draw, and it actually makes my graph. Now that really doesn't help me because I don't see anything, so I'm guessing my view window is probably not what I want it to be. So let's see if we can adjust the view window. Um, I can also cursor over, and eventually you'll get to see my line. There we go. But that's really not what I wanted to see. I want a little more clarity. I want to see more information about the y-axis. So I'm going, to, um, I'm going to change my view window. I'm going to press Shift and F3. Do you see above the F3 where it says V window and it's kind of in a yellowy brown? That uh, means I have to hit the Shift key, my view window. I want the standard view. So I'm just going to hit Standard. Standard is negative 10 to positive 10 with a scale of 1. So that looks good. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit Execute, and I'm going to draw again, and that looks a lot better. Now let's say I want to see exactly what the x-intercept is. I want to trace it. So I'm going to hit Shift F1, and I can trace it, and it will tell me at every point exactly what my values are. And I can't quite get it exactly on x-intercept, but pretty darn close. I'm guessing it's probably about negative 2. Let's say I want to change the view window again. Shift, view window. Only now I want to go from 0 to 5 on the x scale. And on the y scale I also want to go from 0 to 5. Keep in mind that this is a rectangular it's a rectangular picture, so what you're going to find, even though it looks like it's, it should be, let's scoot this over, even though it looks like it should be square, you're, you notice how these are actually rectangles? It's because your, uh, your graph is wider than it is tall, so if you made a circle it would look like an oval. That's how you graph functions on Casio graphing calculators. If you have a question or any problems, please let me know and I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Have a great day.